Well, I was contacted by my co-editor David Leon about the idea. And I had been thinking about doing a similar work with uh, Latino, Chicano uh, senior scholars uh, because they were really the first cohort that had gone through uh, higher education. And so I uh, accepted the idea. That's, I mean, I thought it was a great idea. I was thinking around those lines. And so we decided to move forward with it. You know, this is a book focusing, it's the first book focusing on Latino college and university presidents. And it consists of 11 essays written by uh, presidents themselves talking about uh, their biography, about their uh, professional development and their experience as faculty and members of the uh, academy as senior administrators and as presidents. Well, you know, the last part speaks to some of the challenges that they're experiencing as presidents and there they bring lots of issues to the forefront. Uh, one of them is rising tuition rates. Students have to uh, address the issue of uh, being able to finance uh, an education, higher, in, you know, a post-secondary education. Uh, they struggle with that. They struggle with other issues that they have to deal with as we uh, <coughs> move forward in, in this, you know, period of uh, so-called austerity and uh, you know economic change, globalization, all of these uh, pressures uh, are impacting the way that our higher ed institutions uh, are trying to meet the their mission and ultimately w you know one of the core elements of that mission is that they want to educate our young people. They'll learn some very interesting personal stories about the, uh, uh, the development of the uh, presidents, the uh, backgrounds that they come from, the people who supported and mentored them, the barriers that they experienced, uh, and how they were able to rely on the experiences and the support of their families, the uh, early socialization values that they had acquired uh, as a way of moving forward in their careers. Well, we had asked them to address, I believe, three or four questions to bring some uh, uniformity to the book and some co coherence to it. So we asked them, for instance, to talk about uh, the experiences and support that they got from their family early on that has shaped their thinking, their values, and the way they conduct their work. We asked them to tell us about the ways that, by which they navigated uh, the academy, the kinds of uh, experiences that they had, the kinds of barriers and challenges, and how they were able to move forward. So uh, it really, I think, makes them uh, human. Sometimes we tend to think that our institutional leaders are extraordinary individuals. And I think what the book does is tell us from their point of view, their own human experiences and how they were able to uh, be successful in their career. One of the big ones is, of course, the same challenges all minority groups feel, all members of minority groups feel, and that is that they have to work twice as hard to get ahead and to be validated as people who can accomplish and carry out the responsibilities of high level positions. I think that's the first one. And then the others, I think, are to some extent uh, the challenges that present themselves in the trajectory of one's own life that may differ from one person to another. Uh, but the one thing that comes out over and over again is that each and every one of these individuals valued education, loved education, and pursued education as the arena in which they were going to uh, make their careers. There was one surprise. It was that they did not plan to be presidents. It was all fortuitous in terms of where they were, the opportunities, the mentors, 
uh, who supported them and encouraged them to move forward and so forth. Uh, that probably is the one piece because, you know, now we have leadership programs for senior administrators and so forth, and one might think that those are actually the uh, pathways by which one gets to become a president. But really, it, in some ways, it's just a fortuitous uh, set of events in one's career where two things combine. One, there's administrative opportunity to help an institution. And secondly, there is a senior administrator who is willing to mentor and provide support to that individual.